Hey guys, this is Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So I wanted to take a second and show you guys just how the Cougar Mechanical Gaming Keyboard, the Attack X3, how its functions and features work out. Uh, later on, I'm going to show you, you know, how it sounds. This guy's uh, using, taking advantage of the Cherry Brown MX Mechanical switches. First off, this is high, the lighting. It's on, it only comes in red, but if we hit function and F4, now it goes into breathing. All right, now if we do function F4 again, totally turns off. Function F4 again, goes to low. Function F4 again, goes to medium. And function F4 again, goes to high, where we had it before. The other thing is, right up here is M1, M2, M3. Those are the macro keys. They give you, if you hit macro F1 and you have a bunch of things already saved in the memory, which by the way, this has onboard memory. So if you take this to a friend's house, function F1, which it would be the macro, or should I just say macro one, will do the same thing as if you did it on your own computer because that profile is stored on here. All the keys are illuminated, as you can see, of course, except space because there is no lighting there. And so is that guy. Over here, you may not be able to see it too much, but there's mute, volume down, and volume up. Over here, we can change the hertz or the polling rate from 125, 250, 500, and 1000. Obviously in the dark, it's a lot easier to see with the macro on. You could always put breathing, maybe it's a little soothing to you, or just turn it off, low, medium, high. Also, you can play and pause audio. You can stop audio, rewind, or go back, fast forward, or go forward for audio or videos or anything along those lines. But, you know, that's really easy to say and everything. So let me show you actually on a computer. Alright guys, now you can see that I have it connected to the computer. I don't have the Cougar UIX software installed, but you can still see some of these keys do function. For example, mute. You can see right over there, came up. Volume down. Volume up. I do have it at an almost 4K resolution on the Dell XPS 13. So it might be a little hard to see, but you can see that pop up over here. And I'll zoom it up for you. Alright. All right, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're going to install the Cougar software. So first off, come over here, go to Downloads, and we'll go to this, install this here, next, next, and install. All right, and we click Finish now. And we'll close this window here and bring this over over here. So now that we have the new software installed, it's pretty much blank. So we'll go over here to the macro key, which it is already default selected. Click new group. Call it. All right, so now that we have the software installed, we're going to go to macro. As you can see, we're already there. And we'll click new group. We'll type dragon. Type in with one key with one hand, so it's a little difficult. Click OK. Now we'll go to new macro. We'll name this macro Dragons. And we'll click on this little icon. And we can give it any of the icons they have already here, or we can create our own icon. It's just a JPEG. So we'll just select zero. Okay, so now it's zero. Now that we've installed it, we'll go ahead and click start record. Start. Note. Enter. Hi guys. It's Iggy with
Dragon Blogger. All right, so now you notice there were some pauses, there were some just pauses really and slow down. So I'm going to hit stop record and I'm going to click OK here. So that's saved, but there, it's not saved to a macro key. So what I do is I click macro one. We can see that change over here, the F1. It was escape before, but now it's F1, M1. And then we click, hold and drag this guy. Whoops. We'll click this guy, drag and hold right over here. Click apply. Takes a little second to process. Click OK. Takes another second to process. Then it closes down. So what we'll do here is we'll just close this window. All right, and it's gone. So now if I hit F1, you can see it's repeating my functions again. So don't freak out. This is not going to replace your F1, 2, or F3 key. This is going to add to it. Now, what if you're thinking, you know, I don't always want it to be M1. I want it to be F1 sometimes. Or my girlfriend or wife or boyfriend or husband sometimes uses this computer, and I don't want them to type this every single time. I want it to work like a regular function key for them. That's okay. You can do that. So we'll go ahead and close this. Now what we do is we hit macro F1, which is function. Look over here at the numlock key. When that blinks, that tells you that now it's not an M1 anymore. It's an F1. So I hit, if I hit F1, if I, I'm sorry, if I click here and hit F1, that brings up the help as F1 normally would. Okay? Okay, and now that function key is gone. You can see here, it's always going to be at F1. If you want to go back to it, just go back to it over here. All right, and move it over. Select M1, apply, and OK. So that's going to go away now. Now we'll click back here, hit F1 and your macro keys back so you can have your own macro keys they don't have to bug your significant other pretty nice there alright so then you know as I mentioned before all your uh, your playback keys are gonna work as they did before all your um, and then the lighting just as it did before is going to work and let's go ahead, open up this software again. All right. So not only do you have options for the macros, which they're nice. I don't particularly use macros myself. You have a ton of other features. You have performance. All right. That's going to change the polling rate, the N key rollover, the repeat delay, and the repeat rate test. So now... It doesn't mean that you can only control it from the software. You just click Function, and then F5. Automatically, you see that change from 1,000 to 500. Keep watching the screen. Function F6, Function F7, Function F8. All right, so it does it on the fly. And if you want to change that N key rollover, right now it's on the 6 key. That's for PS2. We're on USB, so Function, pause break. That's going to change it to N key. All right, so you can change pretty much all the functions here. Now we'll go to lighting control. All right, and then again from here, just like we did it with the function keys, you know, we can control all that lighting control. We can change uh, what it has or what the keys actually do. We might want to leave it here. But anyway, I just wanted to show you pretty much how that worked. Um, very nice piece of software. The very first time I plugged it in on my desktop, it immediately updated the firmware. Well, after I installed the software, should I say. So very cool there. Not exactly sure on everything the firmware does just yet, but the fact that it does is nice, though it could be a gimmick. If I come over here, 
game profile management. I had that under profile one. You can have it under profile two, profile three. So everybody can have their own macros. Not everybody, but you know what I mean. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you how the software worked, the Cougar UIX software, in tandem with the, the Cougar keyboard. Very nice stuff here. I really like the way the light shines, especially the way it shines over this metallic backdrop. I'm not too much a fan, though, of red, so it's not my favorite color, but, you know, it's still nice and still going to help you when you're gaming or typing late at night. All right, guys, so again, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger showing you how the Cougar Mechanical Gaming Keyboard, the Attack X3 works, and how the UIX software works as well. All right, guys, till next time.